What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're actually reacting to another player's video, uh, Jesus is here, you might know him, the, always at the very top of the leaderboards of every Android battle, uh, pretty much since forever, if you guys didn't know, he also has a YouTube channel, currently at like 4.7 or 4.8 thousand subscribers, if you haven't done it, I'm gonna put his at down here, Jesus here, 6465, in the description and the very top of the title, make sure you go check out his channel i've been told i need to live react to this because the divine power six boss 10 is the most difficult one to face right now and uh he managed to do it and i want to know how he did it honestly and we can kind of see it as a community what it actually takes because even for my account i'm stuck on eight it's going to take a long time and a lot of power upgrades to get there hopefully you guys enjoy this and make sure you hit that subscribe button for both myself and jesus let's, let's get going <laughs> Okay, so we're here on his channel. I have not watched it just yet. Man, look at those numbers. 48,000 watching him open the first ever SS Summon Stone. Only 21,000 watched the second one, but hey, let's see what this is all about. I'm hoping the audio levels are decent here. I'll try not to talk. I'll try to pause when I need to. Now, actually, you know what? Before we even get into it, my prediction here is Lord of Fear Aspen Damage Dealer and literally five supports like Fairy Queen Vesta, Mystic Fairy Freya, D Gen. Like, I'm talking about Scarlet Queen Halora, all the supporters to keep the team alive. That's my guess. So I'm interested to see what it looks like. I like the intro, I like it feels like i'm about to get into like i don't know it, the intro feels like i'm about getting into like some super presentation by some corporate firm i don't know why hey this is jesus is here welcome to my channel and um, today we're going to be doing void boss 10 um i didn't quite expect uh we were going to kill it okay okay hold on huh so the the team here pretty close to what i was expecting honestly i do think vesa is required as a full support hero on your account Hyperspace Hunter, Islamok, again, I think very, very important for the shielding. Scarlet Queen Halora, she is there for her, um, good lord, I just realized the copy Aspen. Uh, she's there for the extra damage. Vulcan, I, I feel like Vulcan is probably that utility hero you could swap out. And then Mystic Fairy Freya, probably for the debuff, or not debuffing, but the removal of buffs from the enemy. And the fact that she has the poison damage, the poison synergy, kind of like Star Expedition. This is what I was expecting, except I really wasn't expecting the Vulcan. So let's take a look. But again, you can see Lord of Fear Aspen, SSS, Vesa, SSS, two, two SS heroes, SSS. Oh, my God. There's just so many S's on this screen. Just quickly after uh, defeating Void Boss 9, um, did it happen? So I thought I'd share the video with you. Um, let's see, we've got... Uh, uh, Two damage dealers on the team. Um, Vest is uh, is in support. So that makes sense. Uh, I will say Hyperspace Hunter Islamok, as you guys can see here, is very important because all the small minions, they don't do too much damage, but what they do provide is a ton of shielding. You can see all four of them hit everybody in the back line full shields. Um, these bosses do a hell of a lot of damage. Um, so you need to make sure that uh, <laughs> your team can survive which isn't always easy. That's crazy. There is a lot of RNG to these guys. And you can see there, the Fairy Queen Vesa did a ton of healing right there. All right, and we only get three attempts per day, which isn't really very much. Um, and it was cool that um, this uh, team managed to kill Boss 10 on the first attempt. Um, so... I have um, Snake Pet there buffing uh, Freya's uh, poison damage for the team. And uh, we're going to get to uh, some actives for Aspen and uh, DTV again. Um, you can see they're hardly making a big dent on, uh, on the bosses. Honestly, Vulcan's damage seemed really low. I'll be intrigued to see what it's at at the end. Usually around 5-6, round 5-6, we're at 4 right now. Um, that's when it ramps up. But... Uh, the damage does ramp up over time. Aspen is stealing uh, the boss's uh, attack. Um, there's a lot of RNG as well on uh, on which of your mobs get taunted. And you'll notice none of them are using fans. They're all all six heroes right now are using golden crowns. 
Uh, it doesn't really matter for Aspen, but uh, for DTB it's a little bit annoying when he gets taunted. Not too annoying because you know you do concentrate the attack on the boss, which uh, is really important to uh, get rid of the boss because those counter attacks are lethal um, and uh, can easily uh, wipe out your team at any time. You see, that was a nice taunted uh, DTB action. That was good damage. That so, was really uh, good damage. The boss pretty much within killing range. Um, and we have uh, active coming up on Aspen now. Um, so and you can see the shields in the front row. They might not have much health, but the shields just add right up when all the little minions hit. So if we manage to get uh, if we manage to get that active off, uh, we should see the boss pretty close to death. Um, you see, we have Queen obviously in the team for additional damage, and that Aspen active almost killed the boss. Uh, super close. Uh, we have a DTB active coming up. We're getting a lot of unbending wills now. Uh, getting really close to the limit of how long we can last with crowns against uh, against this team. And there you have Aspen uh, getting the kill, uh, which is huge. And uh, now spreading fear onto the minions, uh, splash damage. Yeah, they're just um, not going to attack. We've already got all that stolen attack from the boss. Um, and uh, him compared with D combined with DTV as well is going to make short work of these minions. It really is just about getting. Oh, I now remember. I bet, I bet Vulcan had weakness disclosure when he actually did that one really big hit to the boss there. That boss dead um, as soon as you can. And there we go. Difficulty ten uh, beaten. Um, and uh, killed in round nine, which is pretty good for difficulty ten. The damage! Um, wow! Aspen managing to get the kill on the boss actually did more damage than DTV. Uh... Not on my premium account. Hold on. Okay. Um, Let's see. But uh, yeah, pretty nice kill. Quite happy with that. And um, now we have to wait basically for uh, another update in order to uh, in order to kill any more void bosses. So essentially, this is the final boss we can even fight right now. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to show you Ooh. is the Void Boss scoring table, which I created. Um, a lot of people have been asking questions uh, how the scores are calculated um, when you kill the Void Boss. Uh, why sometimes you kill a boss that's uh, a higher level than the boss you just killed and your overall score doesn't change. Mm. And it's all really about these um, max scores. So yeah. if we look at the table, um, you can see- Yeah, that's one big thing. If you didn't notice, the more rounds you go, like people can beat the same boss but have different points it's because they beat them in an earlier round, which is pretty interesting. The max score that you can get for a boss um, Ha needs to ha happens if you can kill the boss in round six or earlier. If you can kill the boss in round six or earlier, you will get the maximum score available for that boss. Um, if it takes you longer than six rounds to kill it, uh, then your score goes down. So that's pretty good because that's where like round six is when the damage really ramps up anyway. So a lot of times you want to try to beat it before that point. With data that I've gathered from my kills and uh, other guildy kills, I've reverse engineered the uh, formula for the uh, points. The round seven points are so weird. Look at everything else is kind of even. There's a couple rounds that the formula, maybe, maybe it actually rounds, I don't know. And here you have the finished table for uh, boss scores, uh, which you can compare so weird. to uh, leaderboards, if you like. And you can more or less work out um, what uh, boss somebody has killed and what round they've killed it in. Um, you can't necessarily work out um, what their highest boss kill is because it doesn't uh, always result in an increase of score. That's true because it doesn't actually tell you what boss they've defeated on the leaderboard is what he's talking about. For example, if you kill um, boss 7 in round 6, you will get uh, 4 million points. However, you then go and kill boss 8 in round 10, you will score... 3.96 million points so your leaderboard score will not <laughs> reflect that you've killed a new boss that's interesting um, i think so that might have happened to me it's not always possible to tell how far people have got 
um, because you are quite heavily penalized for taking a lot of rounds in order to kill the boss. That's really interesting. Um, I actually want to look at that on my own account now because he basically goes through the rest of this and kind of talks about this whole scenario. Um, I want to check it out because I think what I've done is I beat boss seven by round six, but then I beat like boss eight at round like 10 or 11. So I technically have a better score for my boss seven clear, even though I beat or no vice versa. I've clear, I've 350 or no 3.5 million on from boss six, but then I, I have like down here on boss seven, I think. I don't know that's really interesting but a lot of cool data that he uh, accumulated too and the fact that like where's the damage right here man i mean vulcan i guess did help clean up uh his one weakness disclosure action probably is what the most the fighting part of him was so uh yeah that's interesting pretty much what i expected vesa feels pretty much useful or needed or at least someone who can provide tons of healing because hyperspace hunter Islamok, freya they, they're going to produce all those shields for you but you still need to heal up uh, in the meantime so let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys enjoy this one if you guys have not done it just yet make sure you go subscribe to jesus is here make some really good content once in a while you can see it's not very often he puts out a video but when it does when he does it's something really really cool so hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time